hey what's up again youtube please hit that subscribe button tap that like button and stay tuned to the end because this is some piping hot tea and this is actually a part two um are my wiggins interview with richard okay so you guys know about the first interview that he had over the phone and it was on youtube but this interview he wanted to get a little bit more raunchy and a little bit more ratchet so he went over to mix lr and bitch, even one you going to after eight hours i got a dog bitch and after eight after 30 minutes i'm telling him to get the fuck out of my face because his ass is jumping in my camera and fucking me up you got two kids and i don't ever hear you saying shh leave her alone stop that here here's some juice here's the cracker go get her boot snack leave that alone stop hitting her i'm gonna whoop your ass you better leave me a kid out of here mommy she hit me. you don't hear none of that shit So you're going to have to end up telling her, sit your ass down. I'm going to whoop your ass. Get out of my face. Don't you do that. Stop that. Get off her. Leave her alone, Jaleel. Stop that, Cameron. Get her. Hold on, y'all. I'm so, so sorry. These kids grow out. They husband, my dad. Was... Hold on. Let her school sex, baby. Mommy, why? Oh, she hit me. You don't hear none of that. That's not no normal household. Let me say something. What Millie should have done for me, like I'm about to do for her. I don't want to be involved in y'all talking. Richard. Oh, bitch, I was just making it hot because I, I understand, Richard, but I, I you got to understand what I'm doing right now. She should have did for me. That's why I just made that point because I was really being quiet. Armand, don't try to front now like you was just doing this just to see who listening to you because that's not what you were doing because if Richard would have went along with it, you would have continued, but I'm going to let this play. trying to talk about you, but I want to see how many bitches that don't like me downloaded this app. Jesus. Well, I listened, but I didn't download, but continue. How many bitches think I am problematic, but they downloaded this app? So I got to hit them where it hurts so they can go ahead and make a bitch respond because then I'm going to know who downloaded this app. You are problematic, but I like the fact that you're problematic. That makes your show exciting. I like shit like that. That keeps me in tune. But I don't think I'm really problematic like that, Richard. See, here's the difference between me, and I think I've accepted it. I'm always going to be problematic to certain people. You know why? Because my show is opinion-based. It's not necessarily based on, like, news. Like, here's the fact... Here's what happened. You don't come to my show to gotcha. figure out necessarily this is what happened. Now you do because I'm going to give you my version of the rundown. But then ultimately you come over here to know what I think. So with that being said, okay. just like assholes and just like everybody, we're all different and we all have one. So my opinion, people come here because they either agree with my thought process or they love to disagree with my thought process right does that make sense so i'm always going to be in that space because this is an opinionated show and whenever you have an opinion you're going to have those people who fuck with you because they like your thought process but then you're going to have those people who watch you because they want to debate you and disagree and that's true, Armand. So you already know when you have an opinion, there's always going to be people in opposition. But from your thought of her parenting or whatever, you got to think, Armand, you don't have kids. Like you just said, you have a dog, okay? That is a household where there's a mom and a dad. In. So, of course, she got to make sure those kids are straight, whatever the kids need. The father is in there. That's why you don't hear her, hear her kids. So you can't try to come at her parenting skills because they're not up to part to what you think they are. But I'm going to let this continue. So it's not that I'm messy. It's just my show. At, but what it is that I'm messy because I gossip. I gossip for a living. And it's gossip with an opinion. So you can... So 
I mean, that's why it's going to look like problematic. You can leave it. Yeah, because my thing is this. I could say X, Y, and Z, and maybe you feel like X, Y, and Z is problematic, but you love it because you hate it, and you love to hate it. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? So I understand, like, I'm not just a platform that's going to tell you I'm not impressive. I'm not lovely T. I'm not any of these girls, which is news-based. You go to them for the facts. I watch them for the details and the editing and the facts. And I go to the shade room, the neighborhood talk, to see what happened. And then we come over to the Armand Wigan show to tell what we think. All right. So I'm just going to play that little sneak peek. I did actually record a lot of um, other little clips. So I might be coming with a part two or a part three. I don't know. But you guys, let me know what you think about this. Do you think if Richard never would have intervened and stopped that rant that Armand was going on about Millie and her children, do you think he would have went on? I don't know. I think he would have went on and I think he would have dug a little deeper and got messier and messier as it went on. And this is what else, this is what else I have to say. Okay. I kind of listened to a whole lot of this interview here. And to my recollection, I thought the sit down interview was uh, supposed to be about Ra Ali. I thought she was supposed to be the main topic. So how does Millie name continue to get put in to the sit down interview it's our mind it's not Richard that's bringing up Millie name and then you wonder why people make videos about you um you know having a little I don't know jealousy towards Millie people bring that up because it seems that way even when you're having a sit down interview about Ra you can't help but to bring up Millie and you steady talking about her pockets. You steady pocket watching her. You guys, I'm going to make sure I come with a very small clip and it's going to be coming hopefully before the day over with. But I have it and it was just our mind talking about Millie money. Oh, she got paid in weed and, and, and all this and that and da da da. You guys stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button because I, I will be coming with all sorts of YouTube gossip, tea, and everyday news. So if you like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Show your girls some love. Hit that like and most definitely share and come right back. You guys stay safe, be healthy, and until next time, Katie Talk 101, signing out.